So with the data oriented tech stack, we want to empower you to create the most rich, interactive, and dynamic worlds. And to do that, you need physics. So we decided to partner with a company that has defined the gold standard in physics simulation for games. And for the last couple of, couple of months, we had an amazing collaboration with the Havoc team. And so I'd like to welcome Oliver Strunk from Havoc on stage. Hey, Oli. Hey, hello, Joachim. Hey. I'm super happy to be here. We in Havoc always have been impressed by the creativity of the Unity games. And we are excited to show how Unity and Havoc have worked together to push physics to the next level. And there is a couple things that we wanted to achieve together. We want to give control of the physics simulation back to the developer. Something that is fast, easy to understand, and easy to modify. Actually, we went through a very similar experience in Havoc. Our first engine used an object-oriented approach. But after years of painful iterations, we ended up with a data-centric approach. Very similar to DOTS. And our users loved it. They found that removing those extra abstractions made it easier to understand, and that gave them the control they needed. And in our collaboration with Unity, we were able to take that experience and create a data protocol in C Sharp, which describes physics in a clean and simple way. And we want Unity to become the best game engine for creating network games. And in our experience, physics is often what makes or breaks a network game. So we worked with the Havoc team on designing physics specifically for networking. Yeah, yeah network games are already quite complex. So the key here is reducing complexity. With that design goal in mind, we created something which is lightweight, doesn't require internal caches, and is easy to understand. And we call that Unity Physics. It is written completely in C-sharp, using the Burst compiler and C-sharp jobs. So specifically, for performance, how did that actually work out for you? I mean, we in Havoc are obsessed by performance. <coughs> and using the Burst compiler was actually a great experience. It was easy to use, we didn't have to write platform-specific code, and multithreading just worked out of the box. And we did a very detailed analysis of the Burst compiler output. And we were surprised to find that it actually matches hand-optimized assembly. And this is super important because it allows us to write high-performance code in the same language as the game logic. And for me personally, that this is possible is just absolutely amazing, just incredible. Now, Unity games use physics for all kinds of different purposes. And so in some cases, a lightweight and stateless physics engine is not the right fit. But fortunately, for the last 20 years, the Havoc team has built and fine-tuned a sophisticated physics engine, and its performance and quality powers the most ambitious AAA games. So we also want to offer that full power of Havoc physics inside of Unity. And the data-centric approach was key to making this possible. It made it trivial to integrate Havoc physics. So, with a simple switch, you can go from Unity physics simulation to Havoc engine. And because the data protocol is the same, your user content can stay the same, even your scripting logic. So, we talked a lot, so now check out the new Unity Physics written in C-sharp in actually a live demo. So Joachim, please. <laughs> so what the every physics engine needs is collision primitives. So we started with spheres, boxes, and capsules. Capsules are needed for rectals. But from the very start, we also wanted to include convex meshes. Convex meshes are important because it allows the 
artist to take a graphical mesh and just throw it into the physics engine without authoring specialized physics proxies. And every physics engine also needs physics materials. So we have this kind of iron object which has a very low friction. So you see Joachim kind of slides that heavy iron object over the floor like it would be ice. Another physics material property is bounciness. So we created those tires and they happily bounce around in a scene. So Joachim, stop having fun, you have to move to the next scene. <laughs> All right. Okay, so the next section here, we have this hoverboard. And this hoverboard is really driven by a bunch of game code. And you can see, when I pick it up here, underneath it, there's a bunch of queries. There's these raycars, and they are what makes that hoverboard actually um, hover above the ground. And so it's super important in a physics engine to have really efficient queries and shape casts and so on. And the, phys and the Havoc team spent a lot of time optimizing that code to be really, really fast. And then another set of uh, features in a physics engine we call constraints. Constraints are holding two rigid bodies together. In this case, we created a row bridge out of hinge constraint. So you see it actually behaves quite naturally. And those constraints are used for a number of reasons. You can build platforms, you can build machines, they actually use it for ragdolls, or even simple vehicles. So the next feature is also interesting. We call it trigger volumes. The shiny cylinder is actually a rigid body, but instead of colliding, it changes the material property of the object, in this case, the gravity. So we have this kind of slider, which allows us to control the gravity from positive to be negative. And because we're throwing us robots up and down, they're getting dirty. So if they get dirty, we need to wash them. So we have, <laughs> so we have this kind of nice little washing machine. Actually, what it is, we call it robot testing facility, because we can stress test our physics engine. So you see all kinds of features here coming together. We have constraint system, we have spheres, we have balls, different materials, even a rotating mesh. And that allows us to see the stuff scalable or the behavior. <laughs> it's just actually a lot of fun playing with this stuff. So it's really amazing seeing all of this come together. And this is all written with the C Sharp Unity Physics Engine. And the best part is this Unity Physics, physics Engine is available as a preview package today. <laughs> and Havoc Physics will be available later in the summer. And together, this is a complete physics solution for creating rich and interactive worlds for dots. Thank you.